NBA in-season tournament, everything you need to know about the semifinals. The eyes of the NBA world have shifted to Las Vegas, where Adam Silver's great experiment in boosting engagement now barrels toward its grand finale. Welcome to the final four no trademark infringement semifinals of the inaugural NBA in-season tournament. Come and pull up a chair, imperialize telling everybody stories about the Pine Barrens shoot. It's a great time. Two teams from each conference the Los Angeles Lakers and New Orleans Pelicans from the West, the Milwaukee Bucks and Indiana Pacers from the East will square off in a Thursday doubleheader to determine which squads will have the chance to compete for the NBA Cup, not to mention those sweet medals that come with it. Let's set the table for the East's thrilling conclusion by revisiting how we got here and taking a look at some things to keep an eye on in each of our two semi-final tilts. Where we left off. In the East. After sweeping through Group A, the Pacers bounced back from a shaky first half on Monday by riding its league-leading offense to 74 points after intermission, outlasting the visiting, and Chris Tapp's Portuguese less, Boston Celtics for a 122-112 win. As he has all season for the Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton led the way, the all-star point guard scored or assisted on 44 or those 74 second half points and created even more with his traffic directing and off-ball gravity en route to the first triple-double of his career. Not bad for a dude playing in his first game on TNT. The other Eastern quarterfinal saw its fair share of offensive fireworks, too, with a pair of heavyweight tag teams Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard of the Bucks, Jalen Brunson, and Julius Randle of the New York Knicks trading haymakers to the tune of 147 first-half points. But while the Knicks coughed and sputtered in the second half, the Bucks kept the pedal mashed to the floorboards, leaving New York in the dust in a 146-122 final that marked the most potent half-court offensive performance of the Giannis and Dame partnership. The Pelicans went on the road, withstood a hellacious opening flurry from the Sacramento Kings 32 points on 12-4-14 shooting in the first seven and a half minutes, and grinded their way back into the proceedings behind a shift to small ball, turns out when you've got healthy wings, you can play Zion Williamson at center, and hellacious perimeter defense, 12 steals, 21 deflections. A heaping helping of Brandon Ingram helped, too, the sinewy swingman finished with 30 points, 8 rebounds and 6 assists in 40 minutes, keeping the Kings at arm's reach with his scoring and playmaking, and helping New Orleans advance in a 127-117 win.